Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11, and today we're going to do a little unboxing on the TAC Pack for the month of October. Um, October's about done. Now, I know that there's a lot of other channels that have already shown off this uh, TAC Pack, but we're going to go ahead and just go right into it anyway. Mine just showed up on the door uh, yesterday, which was Saturday. I was out of town, so it's Sunday today, so we're finally getting around to it. And if you're not familiar with the TAC Pack, is a little monthly service you can get into. It's about 50 bucks a month. <clears throat> and every month they give you, uh, I don't know, at least $100, $150 worth of, of gear that's uh, geared toward the uh, AR-15 owner. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just get started opening this up right now and show you what's coming in for the month of October. Uh, a couple things real quick. I want to let you know we are doing a giveaway for the 224 Valkyrie Upper from Bear Creek Arsenal. That's going to be tomorrow. Um, that would be the... 28th of October, 2020. Yeah, that's right. And we're going to do that at five o'clock central time. And don't forget caliber corner starts up at six o'clock central time. That's a little podcast that we do over on gunchannels.com and also on YouTube. And tomorrow we'll be talking about the uh, 300 blackout. Um, real quick, if you want to be entered in that drawing for the 224 Valkyrie, find my earlier video from a couple weeks ago. It's like 224 uh, Valkyrie GAW or 20,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I've got the actual listing for the video you're going to see tomorrow already up on my page. <clears throat> so if you're subscribed to me, you're going to see it. But go back a couple weeks, and uh, you'll have no trouble finding that giveaway video. You should be all set to go. So that's going to happen. And then also, uh, every month we're doing a Patreon patron giveaway, where I give away a box of goodies, and we'll have that. That'll be happening on Friday, uh, November 1st. And so we'll go ahead and get that taken care of, too. And I'm actually going to show off what's going to go into the box to get an idea as to what kind of things I give away on the channel uh, to people who win. And this month is going to be sponsored by SS Pawn and GunChannels.com. I've got items from both that I'll be throwing into the box as well as some of the items that I have myself. So as you can see, we've got the uh, TAC Pack open. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we got. So first of all, we have got a patch which mimics the Stranger Things TV show just called Rifle Things. You know, morale patches are always really cool to have. I'm going to add this one to the collection that we got going over here. I really need to get myself a patch board made up to put my patches on, so rifle things instead of stranger things, using that stranger things font. We've got a Rex Silentium uh, sticker, Relentlessly Quiet, and so that's on here too. So we got a little, I don't know, is there a suppressor in here? That'd be pretty cool. But uh, we do have a sticker from Rex Silentium this month. We've also got an extended mag release for your armor spec. Let's see, Tactical Advantage V1 extended mag release for your AR-15, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> if for somebody who doesn't like that small little button that you get with your AR-15, there's a ton of options out there, and we might just have to install this one on the Bear Creek Arsenal uh, rifle sitting behind me. It's kind of a tester for all kinds of different parts that they get sent my way. I can try them out, see how they work, see if they're going to make it or not, or see if they're going to fail. And uh, right now, I've got a couple little parts on here that have shown up in TAC Pack before, and uh, they are there. So it says, extends the length of the factory button, release magazine without changing grip position. That's always nice to have. Fits your 5.56223 and AR762-308. Uh, and uh, made in USA lifetime warranty and multiple colors available. So there you go. <clears throat> now, also give you the little Allen wrench, which I really do appreciate. That's nice to have, too. So that is the Armor Spec B1. So, got that all taken care of. Extended mag release. What else we got going on here? We have uh, anti-walk pins, stainless steel set. I believe these are, okay, these are also Armor Spec. Uh, tactical advantage anti-walk pins. I believe that's going to be for your trigger group on your AR-15. Uh, let's see, these are anti-walk pins. They're standard, 0.154, I think that's inch size pins. These pins are designed to keep your hammer trigger pins from coming out. Thread locker recommended. That's interesting. Um, I've actually had some lowers where you kind of have some low, some loose pins that kind of start to slide out a little bit. Uh, you know, it, it can happen once in a while, but anything that's going to minimize that, definitely a bonus. And let's see, you get the two armor spec stainless steel anti-walk pins and four stainless steel screws, two hex keys, one sixteenth of an inch, and that's it. So these are made in the USA from uh, armorspec.com. Very cool, or just armor spec. My bad. Okay, then we've also got a... <clears throat> TAC Fire piece. Let's see what we got going in here. QD is what it says on the side, so it's looking like this might be a QD release. We got a quick detach release system for your sling. Okay, so you can get that if you have any kind of QD mounts on your uh, AR-15. And then we've also got a the ring that goes behind your receiver uh, between your buffer tube and the rear of your receiver. It looks like they have you can put a QD mounting point on there for a single point sling, which would be really nice to have also. <coughs> might have to swap that out. The one I have on the Bear Creek Arsenal I really do like, but it does not have a QD detach on that, that particular ring uh, right in front of the castle nut uh, from the rear of the receiver. So we will go ahead and get that on there too, test it out, get it going. That'd be really sweet. All right, so we got this also. 
Uh, which means, if I'm seeing this right, yes, we have got a sling. All right, so we have a, <clears throat> a War Machine brand convertible 2.21 QD sling. This is cool. Um, I usually use the Butler Creek, um, what are they? They're kind of a stretchy neoprene uh, sling. They're like 10 or 12 bucks at Walmart. They're just two-point slings. I put them on all my rifles. I find them very comfortable for long walks across the prairie, long walks out at the range, and so on. Um, this is more of a CQB kind of setup, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, you can set this up however you want, but the ability to go from a two-point to a single point really gives you a little bit more tactical advantage, if you will. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get this out and check it out. So it's a, uh, a thick nylon material, very reminiscent, almost of like a seatbelt material. Ooh, we've got some definitely some solid hardware making that up. This is all metal, steel, maybe some aluminum. And uh, my stocks that I have on my AR-15s, they have QD mounting points um, already on them. So if I don't want to put that little ring on by the castle nut, I don't have to do that. It's got the little war machine patch right there. This is kind of like a, like a silver, almost like a pewter, as I would call it, a pewter gray color. So that's pretty cool. All right, very nice, very nice to have. Uh, and then, then again, just considering I don't have any uh, <laughs> slings like this, this is going to come in really handy. Um, in the box... Was there nothing? I did not get... All right. Well, so TACPAC did not send me any specifications on the prices. I know it's just something that happens once in a while. Um, so I can't tell you the value of those items. You can go back and watch a video and look them up if you want to. I know they're definitely going to be worth more than $49.95. I mean, slings alone can be anywhere $50, $75. I mean, you can spend whatever you want, right? Depending on the quality of it and the build and so on. <clears throat> uh, so one more time, we've got the War Machine um, 2 Point to one QD sling, got that all taken care of. We also got a, again, TAC Fire uh, QD mount, okay, so you can put that on your AR-15. And we've also got, oh, and this is going to be almost like an M-Lock setup, my bad. So this would go into your M-Lock slot on your uh, hand grip or any part of your AR-15 that has M-Lock slots, you know, primarily your hand grip, and this will give you that front mounting point also. Uh, armor spec anti-walk pins, stainless steel, rock on. Armor spec V1, extended mag release, got that going on for you too. The uh, rifle things patched this month using the Stranger Things font. And also the um, the loop, the sling point mount loop or the rear receiver ring or accessory loop, whatever you want to call it. I should know the name of this, but I don't off the top of my head, my bad. Uh, but it's going to go right in front of you between your castle nut and your rear view receiver. And then a little sticker from Rex Silentium or Silentium, Silentium rexcellentium.com, and that's it. Oh, and then also this thing, like I mentioned before. So lots of goodies this month, all kinds of good stuff going on here. So uh, Tack Pack, I want to thank you for sending that out. Guys, make sure you sign up for Tack Pack if you're interested. You know, these items are basically done. If you contact them, you still might be able to get a hold of one of these. They may have a couple boxes le left over, but for the most part, uh, every month is something new. So <clears throat> just a quick recap, make sure you guys check out my drawing for the 224 Valkyrie tomorrow. That's going to happen on the... I keep forgetting the day, the October 28th, I keep thinking it's November, but it's not, October 28th, which is a Monday um, at uh, 5 o'clock Central Time, we'll go ahead and do that drawing, uh, the only catch on that, my own personal requirement is that you do have to be 18 years old to win, and I know I hate any kind of restrictions or regulations on anything, and I understand that an upper is not the firearm, but it just gives me a little bit of peace of mind that it's not going to land on the lap of like a kindergartner or first grader, and then I have parents freak out about it because they didn't realize their, their son or daughter was subscribed to my channel. I mean, crazier things have happened, right? So that's going to be my only requirement for it. Also, it has to be 48 continental United States states, right? Because I can ship the upper to anybody, uh, but it's up to you to make it stay compliant before you mount it on your lower which then makes it a rifle, all right? So anyway, that's it, guys. Make sure you check those things out. Uh, like and subscribe. Mash that bell so you don't miss any updates. Um, otherwise, a lot more fun stuff coming your way. So have fun. Be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon, like tomorrow. All right, y'all take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.